ever lost a pet, you know the heartache that follows. A Denver man wanted to get a puppy after his dog died unexpectedly, but he says scammers took his money and took off, and he's not alone. The pandemic has led to an enormous spike in pet scams. Liz Gilardi shows us why he says it could happen to anyone. He's my best friend. Hunter the Pomeranian was always by his owner's side. He was the greatest dog, you know, especially being in, in a wheelchair, you know. Kenny Moore's best friend unexpectedly passed away on Halloween. His heart was broken, his companion gone. I'm just trying to fill that void, so I was out there searching for puppies and came across a website on Google that looks 100% legit. Kenny searched for Pomeranian breeders in Colorado. This website came up on Google, perkytoyteacuppuppies.com. These are the dogs they have. You see, they picked the cutest looking dogs possible. He fell in love with Max and Stormy. When he reached out, someone claiming to be a breeder replied. His stepmom helped him come up with the money for the puppy, $950. The so-called breeder continued exchanging text messages with Kenny and even talked with him on the phone. Yeah, I talked to him on the phone. Just tell me about the parrot puppies and what they guarantee on the the shots. The timing seemed to be perfect. His stepmom, Darla Witte, was visiting Thanksgiving weekend and she offered to go pick up the puppy, an early Christmas present. And it was a beautiful neighborhood. We called Darla and she explained what happened when she arrived at the address where she was supposed to pick up the dog. And I said, do you have a puppy? I'm, I'm here to pick up a puppy. And he said, no. I said, do you, do you sell puppies? And he said, no. Contact Denver 7 reached out to the website. We flat out asked if they're running a scam. Someone replied, hi, thanks for getting back. This is not a scam and we are working on refunding back the money to him any of these days. But Kenny and his family still believe they were scammed and they don't think they will ever see that money again. I really wanted to believe that these dogs were real. And like I said, a lot of it had to do with I let my guard down. Kenny is appalled the website is still up, so he went to Denver police. He's sharing this story because he doesn't want another family to get their hopes up, only to be disappointed and out hundreds of dollars. I kept all of the the dog toys and stuff, and I hope and pray that <laughs> another puppy comes our way. <laughs> it was really terrible because I don't have the money to help him again. Liz Gilardi, Denver 7.